everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. We are at the end of June which means another Sew My Style reveal. Um, this month was woven dresses and there were two patterns the Jennifer Lauren handmade Quincy dress as well as the chalk and notch orchid midi dress. Now I just want to say something about both these patterns. Both of these patterns were recently re-released with um, I say that the orchid definitely was re-released the Quincy may have just come out um, with cup sizes basically <laughs> um, so try to remember now which one was which I think the Quincy dress actually had different fronts for a B C D cup the midi the orchid midi had a a B cup top and a CD um, uh, top because there's a lot of ease in the Orchid Mini. And I think the Orchid Mini, um, also the AB cup does not have darts. It's just, it's got a lot of gathering into the um, yoke here at the top. And then also you've got um, a lot of ease at the waist because it gets cinched in. Um, I don't think that there are bust darts with the AB cup and then there are with the CD. So anyway, <laughs> that was a big, big plus for me. Uh, this month. I am just loving that all these imp independent designers are starting to do cup sizes with their patterns. It just makes making these patterns so much easier for those of us that are larger than a B cup, which I would venture to say is a large majority of us. Um, anyway, it just makes fitting a lot easier. So let's get into the dresses. Okay, I'm going to start, I'm just going to start with the first one that's on my pile here. So the Orchid Midi. I did not have anything to do with this month. I was not a host. I was not a leader. Um, I am next month, but I wasn't this month. So these I just made up purely for my own enjoyment. Um, so this is the Orchid Midi by Chalk and Notch. All right, so this is a faux wrap dress. It's got a faux uh, wrap top and then has a midi skirt on it with this lovely, trying to get to it, slit at the middle that hits. Um, it slits like right up to your knee. Um, and then it uses a tie at the waist to kind of cinch in and give you definition. I used a ribbon. It's actually attached to uh, elastic at the back. So there's pattern pieces for self ties, but um, she also recommends using ribbon. And I had this gorgeous, um, can you see that ribbon in my stash that it just went perfectly with this dress. Um, there are two sleeve options that come with this dress. There's like a petal um, sleeve and then also a full length sleeve that gathers into elastic at the cuff. Um, I don't like either of those sleeve links on my arm. I feel like maybe if it was more of a flutter sleeve that hit like close to my elbow, I would have definitely been down for that. Um, but the flutter sleeve, it kind of showed quite a bit of arm up here. I just didn't, I just don't find that flattering on my upper arm. Um, and then I don't like long sleeves on me because I think it, um, it, it overwhelms my frame. <laughs> So I went rogue and I literally just took the long sleeve pattern and cut it off at the elbow um, and just a nice loose sleeve and I think it works just fine. I would love a flutter sleeve on this and I could have hacked a flutter sleeve um, with that sleeve pattern. I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> so I went with my own sleeve platter pattern on this but guys I love this dress. I used this rayon, this crinkle rayon, 100% rayon from Joann's. Um, it's part of their Americana collection. I will leave links, both of these fabrics that I used are from Joann's, and I will leave links to everything down below, um, if the fabric's still available, and anything else that I talk about. Um, the ribbon came from my stash, but um, everything else I purchased rather recently. So yes, I love this. In fact, this is the fabric that is kind of the springboard for my summer module. I'm doing two modules this summer. Um, and I've already started on the first one, and you watched that video on Tuesday, my Athena Kaku patterns. Uh, but this was the fabric that kind of was the springboard for that color story for my summer module. So you're going to be seeing some red and everything in, in amongst the blue um, for the summer. But I just love this fabric. I love the pinks, the cool reds. It's got kind of a denim blue in there, then the light blue. I just, I really love this fabric. So I'm, I'm very excited. Um about this one. Now, adjustments that I made to the pattern. The only thing that I did, I actually shortened the bodice by an inch, which I was surprised. A lot of times I don't, ha even though I have a short waist because of my bust, I usually don't have to shorten a bodice, but I shortened it by an inch because, and I, I had heard from other people that they had to do the same, um, because otherwise you just get a lot of pooling with the fabric here. I think an inch was fine. I, I, I mean, maybe I could have gone maybe an inch and a half, but an inch is absolutely fine. And then I lost three inches off the skirt. 
So I took an inch, there's a lengthened and shortened line above the slit, and I took an inch off there, and then I took two inches off below the slit. Um, just, I mean, I didn't want the slit like super indecent high up on my leg, but I did, I did want to split it up um, between those two lengthened and shortened lines, so to keep the proportions of the dress. And I love how it turned out. Um, the pattern instructions are easy to follow. It has a nice deep hem, including mitered corners. Can you see the mitered corner? That all came in with the instructions. Um, I finished my seams with serger. Um, I did apply a snap here to keep, um, and she suggests that, but I did apply a snap um, just to keep that a little bit more modest. But I mean, rayon is just perfect in the summer. I mean, let's be honest, you just feel like you're wearing hardly anything at all. Not that we've had weather to support that yet. Um, it's been very chilly here, but I'm very excited about wearing this dress and I love the colors and yeah. So yeah, that's my Orchid Mini. Very pleased with this one. All right, my second, oh, sorry, Gidget. I just cracked my dog in the head with a finger. Very sorry. Um, is my Jennifer Lauren Handmade Quincy Dress. This is just a very simple summer dress. Again, this fabric is from Joann's and it is a cotton lyocell blend and lyocell is another name for um, like tinsel or rayon. Um, it's very similar. So it is a denim, but a very lightweight, I would call it a chambray. Um, I loved the wash on this. And I think this one came from either their Americana collection or their Coastal Lagoon collection. Again, I'll post links to the fabric if it's still available. But a very easy v-neck bodice on this. Um, wonderful pockets. Again, the waist is cinched in by um, ties. And I just used white cotton cording. Um, and instead of doing buttonholes, I actually had leftover eyelets from my Kelly Anorak kits. So I put eyelets in there. And then, I was so excited about these. My sister got me these buttons for my birthday and I was so excited to use them. These are Arrow Mountain, um, buttons and they are bamboo and you're meant to use a bright I used embroidery floss to sew those on sorry let me hold that up so you can see better anyway the arrow mountain buttons are amazing and she has just different I mean it's not just holes for the buttons um you can almost do fu just fun stuff with embroidery floss or thick thread to make the buttons like an actual statement uh she's just got really really cool buttons on her um Etsy store and I will um post all of that down below but I am just over the moon and again I brought in the pink with the thread just to kind of go with this whole collection that I'm doing um yeah and again even though it's a denim, like a chambray, it is very movable and breeze, breezy. Uh, there were a couple of sleeve op options on this as well, and I went for um, the little notched cuff. Um, I love where these hit on my arm. They hit a little bit lower, closer to my elbow. I mean, there's just not much else to say. Cute paneled skirt, so it's got a nice A-line shape. I mean, just a quintessential summer dress. And again, pattern instructions were fantastic. They've got, the, she's got the cup sizes for this one. It's just really a, a great little pattern. So I was very, very pleased with both of these. This is my second time sewing a chalk and notch pattern. I actually did their fringe blouse for Sew My Style last year. Um, and again, very pleased with that. It was my first time to sew a Jennifer Lauren handmade pattern and I love, I mean, I would definitely buy from her again. I was very impressed with the quality of the pattern and the pattern instructions. So another reason I love Sew My Style, just because it gets me, um, designers that I might not have found otherwise because there are so many um, independent pattern designers and there's so many great ones so I'm very excited to try when I get to try new ones and just kind of see if that's something that fits with my own personal style which is the whole point of the challenge um, and again if you aren't familiar with the Sew My Style challenge I'll leave a link below where you can sign up it's perfectly free you just get discount codes for that month or the next month's patterns um, and we'll be doing jeans in July and there's actually five jean patterns that um, you would be getting discount codes for. Uh, the two Thread Theory men's jean patterns, and I can't remember, one's the Quadra, and I can't remember what the other one is called. I'll pop, pop links both to, I wanna say Fairfield, but that's their button down shirt pattern. <laughs> that's what it's called, it's a, it starts with an F though. Anyway, I'll pop pictures up here of those two. And then we are doing the Megan Nielsen Dawn and the Megan Nielsen Ash. So the Ash is her stretch jean and the Dawn is her non-stretch jean. We're doing both of those patterns. 
and we're doing the Cashmere Ames jeans, which is Cashmere stretch jean pattern as well. So we've got tons of fun stuff coming up in July, so if you haven't signed up for that, again, I'll leave the link down below, um, and you can get signed up for that, and it's really just discount codes. And then you can post your progress throughout the month and be eligible to win a mid-month prize, and then post your finished um, by the, before the last Sunday of the month, um, is the reveal day. You can post any time up until then and be eligible to win the end of the month prize. And it's, it's like some great things. So that's all I have for today for So My Style. Um, today, I think today, sometime this week, I have my first Minerva Crafts blog post that's coming up. And it is, I'm very proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a really, a really fun project. It was a really fun project to work on, and I had to keep a little bit of hush-hush about it just because I didn't want to step on any toes because they actually own the rights to the blog post that I wrote for them. But I'm going to have a quick little video, probably up tomorrow, um, pointing you... Maybe not up tomorrow. It'll be up, though, in a non-regular scheduled time because my um, regular scheduled videos are pretty scheduled. But... Be on the lookout. If you follow me on Instagram, it'll definitely be popping up on there. Um, and I will definitely come on here and talk a little bit more about it. It's a suit, and it is amazing. So, um, yes, you've got that kind of coming up a little bit closer. Uh, Tuesday, I've got my, again, I'm a leader for So My Style for um, July. And so I will have a um, talking about jean making and where you can buy good denim um, and your notions and all that kind of stuff on Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. And again, if there's any tutorials regarding jean making, whether it be stretch jeans or regular jeans that you, um, or non-stretch, that you are wanting to know, leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, I'm kind of trying to plan out um, some of the more obvious tutorials, but then also if there's anything else in particular that you guys would be interested in seeing. So leave that comment down below. I have not forgot about the, sew, the swimsuit sew along. It will be coming, just maybe a little bit later. It may be later in July now, because um, now Sew My Style has kind of taken over, and I literally had no time <laughs> with all my travel in June. But I'm back, very limited travel um, once July hits, and so um, hopefully back to a little bit more regular schedule. Okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all next week. Bye.